Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. It's in my basement. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because uh, I'm a very messy painter, but I thought it would be really fun to show you how I prepare canvases and uh, create some of the textures in my paintings. So currently I'm working on a uh, three foot by three foot canvas and I'll kind of show you over here. So I am finishing up this canvas with uh, it's basically a field of flowers and um, I start off with a reference a photo reference, usually of photos I've taken on some of my trips to the west side of Michigan. And I love color, and I'm primarily a palette knife painter. So this is unfinished. I still have to fill in the sky, but you can see these really wonderful textures that I create using modeling paste. And I will show you how I prepare my canvas, but I'm going to be going over the background probably with some pinks and golds just to tie in the flower theme. So uh, in order to do my pink sky, uh, I've laid out uh, some colors, and on the left is my gloss gel medium, and on the right is my white paint, and I use it to soften the colors uh, so that they'll make a pretty soft sky. Now, my background for my canvas is I use modeling paste, which makes this wonderful texture. But as you can see, it's kind of a matte finish, and I want my painting to have a more glossy effect. So that's why I'm using gloss gel uh, in my colors. You can see it makes things more shiny. So when I do these really big paintings, I really take my time. Uh, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to make a lot of mistakes. And if I do make mistakes, I can add layer upon layer upon layer. So I'm going to start applying my pinks. And since I'm an abstract painter, um, my sense of color goes in many, many directions, so they're not realistic. So I'm using different pinks here. And as you can see, it's a little bit harder to apply the paint because of these nooks and crannies from when I put on the modeling paste. But I'm just going to keep applying, you know, white and gel and put it everywhere. And then what I might do is add various colors, maybe some lavenders or gold. And I'm going to go across the whole canvas before I start filling in spaces. So I have this lovely purple, but it's a little too dark. So I'm going to add some white just to give it variety. Because you don't want it to be bland. You, you want lots of color and textures that make it really interesting. And you can see I'm using the back of my palette knife. Right? 
and I don't always have a plan when I paint. I'm a very intuitive painter, so often I'll just stop and look and say, okay, what other colors would go with this? So, as you can see, I made a lot of progress this afternoon. And I found all these beautiful, gorgeous colors to fill in the sky and textures. Now, I want to make some changes, and I'll probably go over with another layer, but for instance, um, the green kind of ends abruptly uh, the, from the uh, flowers, you know, the, the leaves. So I'm probably either going to bring the green up into the sky a little more, or I'm going to bring more sky down here to give it more depth and connection. But that's it for today.